we have the opportunity to make a habit of empathy. Biken and, and uh, in, in, a, in a timely fashion. I've reviewed his record. I've also carefully reviewed his responses to questions from the Senate Judiciary Committee. And one of his answers, I have to note, uh, was troubling to me. He stated that he believes he fits President Obama's standard for the type of judges he will nominate to federal court. Uh, that is, he meets the president's empathy standard. President Obama described that standard as follows. <clears throat> The president uh, said this, we need somebody who's got the heart, the empathy to recognize what it's like to be a teenage mom, the empathy to understand what it's like to be poor or African American or gay or disabled or old, and that's the criteria by which I'm going to be selecting my judges. In 2005, when then Senator Obama was on the, in the Senate, and he explained uh, on the floor here his vote against Chief Justice John Roberts, who I think was one of the finest nominees we've seen in decades, and whose testimony before the Judiciary Committee was just stunning in its, uh, in its impressiveness and his uh, grasp of the legal issues, his comprehensive knowledge of how the court worked and, and cases, uh, he, it wasn't a case brought up that he didn't seem to fully know about. Every, virtually every case the Supreme Court ever rendered, he seemed to uh, be knowledgeable at. It was just a tour de force. Uh, he voted against Judge, Judge Robert, Roberts and, and stated that 5% of cases are determined by, quote, one's deepest values and core concerns and the depth and breadth of one's empathy, close quote. Now, we can only take this to mean that the president believes that in 5% of all cases, judges should not set aside their personal beliefs, biases, or experiences. And I think this is a radical and a dangerous departure from the most important pillar, the fundamental pillar of the judicial system, judicial impartiality. Whatever the empathy standard is, it's not law. And we have courts of law in this country, whenever a judge employs his personal beliefs, biases, or experiences to make a decision that favors one party, is it not true that he necessarily has therefore disfavored the other party as a result of his personal beliefs and biases? For every litigant who benefits from, his, from the judge's so-called empathy, there is a litigant who loses, not on the basis of law, but because the judge did not identify with them. So when a person is nominated to our federal bench, we ask them to take a judicial oath before they take office. The oath embodies the time-honored American tradition of blind justice. The oath says this, quote, I do solemnly swear that I would administer justice without respect to persons and do equal right to the poor and to the rich, and that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and form all the duties uh, that incumbent upon me under the Constitution and laws of the United States, so help me God. I'm pleased to say the Supreme Court has not yet struck down, so help me God, in the oath, and hopefully they never will. The present standard for judicial nominees, I think, plainly conflicts with that oath. And we've had a big discussion about that. And it's not a little bitty matter. It's not a small matter. Judges take the oath to be impartial. I practiced law in federal courts for many years. And I've always believed and expected a judge who heard my case would, would rule on the law fairly and objectively. And if I lost and did not have a sufficient law or evidence and logic to, and to, to support my position, I didn't expect to prevail. Uh, and that's the kind of concept that underlies American justice. Now, aside from uh, nominee David Hamilton, almost every one of President Obama's nominees, including Justice so Sotomayor, 
have rejected outright the empathy standard. And so at first blush, I found Mr. Viking's answer that he believes he fits that standard to be concerning. However, he has also acknowledged in his answers uh, to questions we submitted to him for the record, uh, 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 maybe a, a more complete view. Now, this is what he said in his answer in writing, quote, a judge's consideration of a case must always be governed by impartiality, even-handedness, attention to the facts presented by the parties, and respect for established law. Empathy is a personal characteristic which may assist a judge in analyzing the human circumstances which bring people before the court, but the law and, but, but the law and not the personal experiences of jurists is the path to justice in considering each case, close quote. I think that's okay. Uh, I'm not sure how you can have any empathy. Uh, the empathy is a personal characteristic. Maybe I'd hate to disagree with the president who nominated me, but that's a pretty good statement overall. And he also stated that he believes that, quote, the role of a federal district judge encompasses diligent legal scholarship, that's true, a strong work ethic, true, impartial and dispassionate consideration of proven facts and reasoned legal arguments, fidelity to binding and persuasive precedent, and respect for all who appear before the court, close quote. I think that's a good statement, and, uh, uh, and I think it, it uh, uh, if he'll conduct himself on the bench according to those standards, uh, he'll do well, and I believe he will. And I think uh, he may uh, have made some statements about empathy that are not perfect, but my ju judgment is that he's been in the courtroom, he's been before good judges, and, and I'm, I'm hopeful he's going to be a very good judge. Um, and, but we'll see. And.